Hello guys, we have another island tour today and this is by Lumi.Crossing and it is Jen and this is a cluttered cottagecore island. First of all, let me just say my outfit, the mushroom hat, man, man. Okay, well, first of all, let's look at the map. Always forget to do that. Okay. This is Jennifer and this is Luminia. Oh my goodness, I love Winnie. I also love her name. And these are the rest of her villagers. These, this is, what was that? Okay. This is Luminia. She does have a lot of waterfalls, kind of like spread out. And her museum is at the top of her map. And let's make our way to the entrance. And I already pass a lot of dirt. I literally love cottagecore so much. And anyone who tells you that it's not, that it's too overdone, that it's just overrated, whatever they might say, it is stunning. It is very relaxing and is awesome. So I love cottagecore super so much this is her entrance jen has a lot of open space to walk around and it, def it definitely looks like there's a bunch of little hidden tunnels and i love how there's this little luggage and the welcome sign i use as well it is very great especially that wood one so like which way should we go left or right let's go right and I love how there's weeds everywhere. Here we got a library and a sitting area where you can enjoy some tea. Look at that teapot. It is so cute. The best. The best one. And Hyacinth. Let's go ahead. And kept the beach natural. Let's go ahead and cross that bridge. Do the cross the bridge. Ooh, like very wide waterfall. Ooh. There's tea and a little campfire where we're ro we are roasting marshmallows. And I do notice that a lot of people are just putting pumpkins everywhere. It definitely looks more wild and very, it adds a detail. So that's really cool. Can we jump? Here we can jump. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. And then we pass over here. I really love this antique side table. I'm not sure what it's called. And it looks cool. This button churn. A lot of wood. DIYs that are wood. And we got a little pizza. Pizza place. Super simple. Natural. Here you sit down and you get a slice of pizza. And surrounded by a mountain. And we got Judy's house. Right here. Guys, don't worry if you don't have like just lodge villagers. Like basically villagers that only have the wooden cabins. Because literally Judy... Judy's house looks really fancy, but it still looks amazing. It looks like a, a cottage right now. So it all depends on how you decorate the the background. So do not worry. You don't have to, like, go crazy. Unless you want just, like, a simple color scheme throughout your island. You know? You can make anything work. Okay? And here is... Oh, the crab. Here is the dock love the books it's like a little reading area right here and you can fish and let's go ahead and go on go along this beach we got a little hidden couch Ooh. let's go ahead oh we got we, we can't miss anything okay we got a little orchard okay wait this is the entrance to our orchard I feel like I'm missing things. Okay, we were right here. 
yeah let's go ahead and go up here so here is the book club it is so cute wow i never used this mushroom ever here you can write in a little literature club love this oh my goodness okay yep thumbnail <gasps> Ooh, with that bridge in the back oh wow this actually really might be the thumbnail Ooh, should i be in it mm, i don't know here we go i love this um cute little book club and then there's that waterfall so here we got the book club i love how there's a tree right in the middle and this is the entrance to the orchard and here we go walking along you can pick some apples harvest your fruits and it's not that much um fruits it's not like a huge orchard and it's also not like super structured it's really like very natural there's not too many trees growing in like a straight line got a tiny library and this is mm, i was a, i don't know this is fauna man how did how could i ever forget her literally how could i even stutter on fauna i am so super sorry man oh my goodness this cute little tissue box that <laughs> my god okay so seriously the mom's items are actually the best here we got Fauna's house and, oh, a little fishing area. I like how this is like kind of hidden. And I see a picnic area. Oh man, I didn't, did I? Oh man, I don't know if, I, if there was a tool, but this is a rock garden right here. Ooh, I see this. I'm gonna go ahead and get a good look. And we got this little island right there. And I see a watermelon farm. Boom, boom. And this is Eric. Eric's house. Ooh, he has like a little... Okay, yeah. He has got a little farm. And he sells fruit. He sells plants, fruit, he's got a little snack station back there. Goodness, I love this island. It really reminds me of just like... Kajkor is definitely my favorite, definitely. And we do have another house. Molly is amazing. And this is her little house. Got a little waterfall. right there it's amazing how many pictures she has of her villagers jen how did you do it tell me i need to know how to get pictures if any of you guys know please let me know this is a little farm i love the silo right here and a little pathway pumpkin patch and let's go to the left Abel sisters. And we got a wishing well. Yeah. But let's go ahead and go up here. We got a house. Yeah. Here we got a bakery. Very cute bakery structure i like how it's a skinny building with the panels and let's go ahead and go to her house i am so excited to see jen's house got a little lavender farm right here boom and her house is white i was expecting the the cottage that i had and everyone a lot a lot of people had that little the cottage one but she definitely did choose a really simple and classy white exterior 
Let's go ahead and go inside. Oh my goodness, I really did sound like HGTV right there. Let's go. Let's be let's be like those the shows. Oh, we got a cottage right here. Let's look around. The wallpaper is super light and delicate. And we got a sewing room. And I love how open this room is. You got you can run everywhere. And a lot of the Okay, so this room is all blocked off. But it honestly looks really cool with all the little barn doors. But let's go ahead and go upstairs. Oh, amazing. I love it. Let's just check downstairs if it is done. Totally fine if your houses aren't done. Honestly, I will leave that to the end as well. The exterior is more fun to do anyways. So that was this room. It was her bedroom and it's super big. It's really interesting that she chose the first room as her bedroom. So different choices to think about when you do your own house. Let's go ahead and go up here. Library, oh, I love this phone box. Literally, it's so pretty. I only have one. Oh, my sister is the only one that has it in her Nook Miles. So she's only given me one and I just like, I can't get it unless she gives it to me. This thing right here, the maple, the maple pond stone, how? I don't know if I have that. And I th this is Marshall's house. And, ooh, I love this little staircase we'll go ahead and check that out later oh there's also a weird staircase also like different angle here we got another lamp lavender farm and this is the first time i've seen someone not decorate the beach and it's totally an option so and we got the museum museum and right there i like how it's formatted it's kind of like just like a one way like you just go past through these and it's kind of hidden in all the trees and the bug cage is literally the best thing that flick has ever given us Artisal bug cage is awesome. This, wow. I was like, what is this? And I don't know who this is, but he's literally cute and I don't even, no one talks about him. I'm just wondering where has, I've never even seen him. So he's got, a, ooh, he's got a lot of crafts going on. He might be like the little kid he might have that little personality. I want to know what his name is or their name is. Poncho. I want to go into their house. Okay, girl. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm taking up time. Poncho, what does your house look like? Tell me. Nice. Um. Um. How many people are here? Is this a college dorm? How many people live here? Tell me. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's just you, right? Where are the other people? Um. Well, what do you got to say? Hey, always nice to have a visitor. Even if this is a dream, stick around for a while. Little bear. That is so cute. Poncho is really cute. I'm wondering why he has so many beds. Um... But this is definitely a crafting area for him. He is like a little kid, maybe. Maybe he just likes some crafts. Hybrid area. And fortune cookie cart. So that's a little farm. Pancho has a big area. I wonder if that's Jen's favorite. Maple came out of nowhere.
and okay yeah so this is like a little plant area like a little either a shop or like a working station and we go to this cool staircase Ooh, we've got a little lake. That is cool. Here we got a little mini private lake. That is really cool. Great idea. I've never even thought of doing this. It's like a little private lake that villagers can come and enjoy fishing. Really, really adore that. And we got some wheat, a wheat farm. Ooh, little studying section with some food. Lettuce farm. Oh wait, is it cabbage? Girl. And we just have to go Mm, I think that's where we go down yes or do we go this way oh yeah so we go down the stairs Ooh, automatically go up the stairs that's cool Kind of like guide you up there. Piano. Here we got a restaurant. Very casual dining. Ooh, I love barns. Okay, wait, let's get a good look at this. Let me get from the front. Ooh, this is like the big farm. Cool farm. Ooh, this is really cool. I need to get a really good look at this. Yeah, so this is a barn. And, oh, yeah, I'm hiding in the tree. Perfect. I like how there's big pumpkins. Cool. That's the barn. A chair. What? A chair is up there. What? And. Ooh, little romantic spot. We got a house. And right at this little island here, we got a sitting area with a little rocking bench. A stone hedge. Rocking chair. Right there you can read. That's like a reading area. very natural beach and did we see this i don't we did not see it so okay so this is actually the yeah we went right now we're at the left of the island so this is like tea relaxing area and a bee farm boom Oh, the dog. The dog. Campsite. Okay, this is a campsite. And the sign is up there. And a little farm. Cute. Little campsite set up.
laundry. And did we see Nook's Cranny? I'm not sure if we did. We did not. Oh, we also have a grand piano. But... Ooh, wait. Okay, yeah, we can jump. And I wonder... How you get to the... Grand piano. Okay, the piano is actually just here, right here. So there's a grand piano, <clears throat> and also there is Nook's Cranny right here. Oh, wait. Nook's Cranny. And a waterfall. Oh, I like the boxes right here. Stacked boxes. Wow. So someone has a little music area. And here's a house. I we already yeah, we did. Okay. And here's a little bridge going up here. And here you can take a little nap. So guys, I think that this is the end of the video. Please give Jen very good compliments in the comments. Tell me what your favorite part of this whole island is. Um, I will be posting very soon, so please keep up with my videos. And I do have a, a giveaway that I'm doing at 400, so we need about 50 more subscribers. And this time around, I'm going to do a physical giveaway. So that's really interesting and super fun. I think that's awesome. It's better than getting things in the game. Of course, that's good too, but I think that this is going to be really cool. So if you guys could please subscribe, that would help me out so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys again in another video. Thank you guys.